Here is another way to get a potential subscriber to become a subscriber within Facebook Messenger. Today we're going to use Facebook Messages Objective along with ManyChat, JSON Growth Tool, and ManyChat Keywords. We're going to take a look at that now. All right, let's get started here. We are in the mini chat dashboard and we're going to work through getting people from Facebook ad to mini chat. We're going to use the Facebook messages objective as far as our ad objective. And so there's a couple of things that you can do. You can use a Facebook adds JSON or ManyChat JSON growth tool to get uh, the JSON code and put it into the ad. I also have a hack using a keyword that we can fire off the ManyChat bot as well using uh, ManyChat keyword to fire off the messages. So let's get started here. First, we're going to go into growth tools. We're going to create a new growth tool. It's going to be a Facebook ads JSON. And I'm going to use the generic, uh, the default message for now. Uh, you can edit it. And what I would suggest is you have this message and it's going to go to another message. Have them interact with the bot with the first message. There is a limitation on size, 150 characters, I believe, as far as the first message. So just be sure that you stay within that. You cannot address them as far as the first name or anything because you, at this point, you have not gotten them to be a subscriber yet using JSON. So you can't use the first name in the first message. So you can in the second message. So let's do that. I'm just going to so, oops, so great, Jeff. And I'm just going to do that. So we'll have a little change there that you can, once you get them to subscribe by pushing the button, typing in an answer or something, going to the second message, you can actually address them. So we're going to leave that message. You can also replace it with a flow that you've created or create a new flow. Just remember the limitation on the first message, and then you could take them on the path. So we're going to go next. We're going to copy this JSON code. And we're going to go into Ads Manager. We're going to create a new ad. And here you're going to pick the objective. You have a consideration here, traffic, engagement. We're going to go down to Messages. And we're going to say Test Message. Now, you can use JSON in the traffic objective. And you can use it in the Messages objective. The Messages objective is get more people to send the messages to your business messenger whereas traffic send more people to a destination on or off facebook such as a website app or messenger conversation so they used they had traffic here before you send them the messenger and now they created this new a few months back this messages objective that you can use and basically facebook is saying they're going to optimize your ad to send people to messenger so hopefully that's what they're doing behind the scenes you never know so we're going to say continue we're going to get into the ad set here am i going to change much if anything i'm going to leave it to clicks to messenger and obviously do your audience and i'll make sure that you are targeting the right audience uh, i'm getting many ads in my news feed and i think it's because of generic i'm seeing them like crazy lately and so facebook must be pushing them to do boost posts. It looks like boost posts most of the time. And they have send message. And so they're trying to get people in the messenger and then they go to this three generic questions or some generic thing. And I'm like, what is this? You know, there's a disconnect. Though I, I did see a few that had the picture in it. So it was kind of nice that, that you could see that it was an ad to this. Uh, that some of them are just questions and there's no, there's a disconnect. So I'm not sure why Facebook is pushing that that hard. But anyway, just make sure that you're targeting because I've gotten some ads from Arizona, New York, 
And I'm like, why am I seeing this? You know, it has nothing to do with me. So make sure that you're targeting the right and not wasting money. Uh, placements, I use auto placements. If you edit the placement, uh, those are going to go everywhere except um, auto network. That would be automated. So here you can actually take, mess you know, not messenger, but let's say Instagram off. Here you could target certain devices, Android, ISO, or all. Leave it as all. I'm actually going to go back and say automatic. Budget, set your budget here. I'm not going to change anything there. I'm going to say continue. Here, choose the page that you're going to run the ad from. It's going to associate it to the Instagram account that's associated with the Facebook page. You can always change that if you want to something else. You can do a carousel, a single image, single video, or slideshow. I'm going to use a single image for my ad. I'm going to pick this picture here, and there's our ad. I'm just going to add, yeah, obviously you want to add some text, uh, some great copy to get people to click on that button. I'm just going to say testing, uh, let's see, Facebook messages, active. Headline you can change. Basically, says connect to Messenger. Now, granted, you do want to tell them you're taking them to Messenger. Now, Facebook wants us to communicate with the end user where they're going, and we want to make sure that we're telling them we're taking them to Messenger so they know where they're going. So I would have something in here, either in the ad copy and the text copy above or the headline, and then you call the action. I'm going to leave it, send message. Now here is where we're gonna set up the message. You have two options, a standard, where you can actually set up the message. You can see it right here. And here you can actually substitute the first name. You can personalize it because you're coming from Facebook and they're gonna send it to Messenger. They own both platforms and they're all happy. The JSON is something that you're, we're gonna substitute for what we have. So we're gonna delete that. And then we're going to paste in what we have from here, which I copied. So we're going to have that in there. And we could preview in the Messenger app. And we should be able to see that on my phone here. <clears throat> there it is. Welcome. And we're going to say, sure, I do. And it should fire off the second message. Good, Jeff, and see that substitute did work. Once we have them in, we can personalize the message going to the next message because they clicked the button, they became a subscriber. So we're gonna go back into here. So that's pretty much it for the JSON side of it. And we could test the ad, make sure that's all working. We're gonna send notification to Facebook and then I am going to show it to you on my phone. It should be coming up. Maybe it's not. So I will go into here and here, and your ad is ready. And now it should come up as a test. There it is. So I'm going to push the send message button, and we're going to get the same message that we did before. I'm going to say, sure, I do. And it should. Hopefully send me the second message, but maybe it's not going to like it this time. <laughs> Getting a little fussy. So it's not working there. Not sure why. Basically a little glitch in the communication between Facebook and Messenger and many chats somewhere. So the ad is done. Now you're all set. You can run it. And what you would do is go down to the bottom and say confirm and let it run. So that's the one way you can use Facebook messages objective to run your ad. The other way, it's, it's a little hack, and what we're gonna do is go back to mini chat. I'm gonna go into automation, and I'm gonna move my mouse out of the way, and I'm gonna go to the keywords. And so I'm gonna create a new keyword, and I'm gonna call it, uh, let's say home. It's gonna say home. 
So the message is home. I create the keyword. And I am going to just create a new reply. So I'm just going to say, hi. Yeah, I'm going to say, hi, Jeff. Welcome to the group. Here's something basic. I can show you how this works if I can spell. There you go. So we're going to do that. So I got all that in. And so we have, I'm just going to go back to keywords. And there we go, home. So we want to make sure that it's message is, not message contains, message begins, message is. So that's where we're at. So if we go back to this ad, and so we're dealing with a Facebook messages objective. We're going to go back here, and I'm going to go into setup message. And we're not going to do JSON. We're going to do standard. And I'm going to move this out of the way. So we're going to say, hi, Jeff. Please let us know how you can help. And um, I'm just going to say press button below. You just you got to write up a message because basically now the opt-in message that we were doing over here in the growth tool right here, this, this opt-in message is your message right here. So it's going to be your, your, your first message. So all you, what you can do is, let's just say, are you, say, are you, you looking for a home, press home. Click home. Sorry about that. Click home. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down here and we're going to change this reply text, which is this quick reply. And we're going to make it home. Now it's home. So what's going to happen is we're going to say, hi, Jeff. And that's the one thing is by using this standard, and actually we could use a picture and I could actually upload the same picture. So now we have the picture too. So what we can do is now we have the picture and this and then home. And so I am going to test this. So uh, let's see, I got that, I got that. Done. Oh, please set a valid message. Okay, so apparently I don't have a valid message. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to do text. If I do text, so that they don't like the picture for some reason. Recommended size. Oh, okay, so the size may be too big. Oh, here we go. I need a, I need a title. Um, click home. There we go. That's it. Yep, there we go. So it just needed, didn't tell me that. I, I needed an image. I mean, I needed a title. So I'll click home. So what we can do here is I'm going to test this. So we're going to look at my phone here. So there is, it's not rendering the picture for some reason, but hey, that's okay. So what we're going to do is, oh, there it is. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on home. So remember that we created a keyword in MainChat called home. So here it is. Message is. So you got to make sure it says messages. Don't talk on these and it won't work. So basically, using a mini chat keyword, we've triggered this message by using this reply text as a keyword. So it is kind of a hack that 
couple of things that you get to do here is one, you can personalize it, unlike the JSON where you can't on initial message. Now you can. So if you look at it, it says, hi, Jeff, please let us know how we can help. And you know, basically your message here. And then they're going to have that one quick reply. And that's the way you're going to get them subscribed to the bot, to your audience within ManyChat. And then you get the other message. So I hope you enjoyed that hack because I think it's it's very powerful. And I've been running this this way and I'm getting great results that way. And like I said, you can, you can uh, personalize it. And not to say that JSON won't work. And I know a lot of people are using JSON too. So hopefully that is something that you didn't know and learned something new today. Got any questions, post them down below. Well, that concludes our video for today on getting potential subscribers to become subscribers within Facebook Messenger using ManyChat's JSON tool and using ManyChat's keywords as a hack within Facebook Messages objective. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. And, and always, please like the video, share it across the world, and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. Down below, I do have a link to a great Facebook group, all like-minded people sharing ideas. Come on and join us. We'd be happy to have you. Again, have a great week, and I'll see you in the next video.